Welcome to Network Nuts. My name is Alok Shrivastava and in this video I am going to show you how to create a bash script that will clear your logs automatically with sense. Remember the point here is with sense means it should be doing it taking into consideration some of the very important things. Let me show you how to create a bash script for this purpose. Here I had got a script clean hyphen log dot sh I had created this for to show you I'll just try to explain these things one by one first things obviously it comes to be bin bash that the script is going to be executed in the bash it should run by the root only it's a comment and it is the author name it can be your name or my name I'm put, I'm I'm making up some variables here that log underscore dir will be given a value of where underscore where log uh, root underscore uid has been assigned a value of 0 lines are 25 some other like exceed is 66 some error code and if you are not root then this particular error will be displayed first thing first the script will check me whether the person who is executing the script is a root or not as we know that the root has got the UID of 0 so it is checking whether dollar UID will give will have your UID number it will be checked with the root UID means 0 so ideally it should be 0 is equal to 0 means the person who is executing the script will be the root if it is not root then it will just give you a display uh, error message then you must be root to run the script and it will exit with a particular error code then my script will check whether you are able to actually move into that particular directory location or not dollar log underscore dir is given the value of var log so it is checking whether your current directory is var log or not if you are not in var log means the machine is not able to go into the var log might be of some permissions or whatever then it will not execute the script and will give you the message cannot change to the particular directory and will exit with this particular exit code or the error code in case both the conditions are true then my script what it will do it it will not remove all the lines I'm saving the last uh, say 25 lines or uh, some 30 lines here for for you so it what it will do here it's very uh, small but an interesting thing that my script tail hyphen dollar lines dollar lines will get this value say 25 okay I'm just uh, making it 15 15 so what it will do it will just preserve the last 15 lines of the message cut it and will move it into a file message.tmp file then it will move the file onto the message and it and it will uh, then clear the dev null obviously that everything will be going into the dump and you will get a message of all logs cleaned up with a successful exit of zero so I just save this I'll just cat var log message and will show you the current I've got 25 lines here so what I'm going to do I'm going to execute the script again so make sure that you've got the execute permissions on the script you can give it by 755 clean log dot sh now I will just execute the script clean log dot sh all logs cleaned up so if I give you the same command again it will you can see there now only 15 lines are there rest everything is being cleared up so the best thing is that not the whole log file got cleared you have got the latest or the most current logs still there in the file depending upon the lines that you want to preserve and just to check that it really makes sense what I had done if I copy this particular script to alloc I'll just open one more terminal I'd copied the script to the alloc user here uh, here I'd logged in as alloc so my ID is 500 so if I am trying to execute the script it will give me a very clear message that you must be root to run the script so my script really makes sense and I'll, I'm going back again so it is how the scripts work and it's a re really beautiful thing that you automate your jobs using the scripts so I I hope you liked it thank you very much